Do you want to know how to get it streamed out working with the new version of Microsoft Teams? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work and AI team. Now, you might have uh, remembered a few months ago, uh, Stream Decks were all the rage and we had brand new functionality which allowed us to connect Stream Decks into Microsoft Teams. And then we had the brand new version of Microsoft Teams which came out um, and people have started to switch across. But one of the big things that I found and that lots of my customers found was that the Stream Deck no longer worked in the new version of Teams, which was a bit of a shame because we absolutely loved everything else about it, apart from the fact that we couldn't use our Stream Deck. Well, great news, the Stream Deck is back and you can now use third-party plugins as part of Microsoft Teams. It's really easy. It is a little bit different to the way that it was previously. Uh, it takes like literally two or three minutes to set up. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So here I am uh, in on my computer here and I'm gonna open up the Stream Deck toolkit. Now you should already have this installed if you've got a Stream Deck here. Um, the important thing is that it's been upgraded to the latest version. So if you click on that cog um, and you go to general, you want something like 6.4-ish, something like this. But if you click check for updates, then you should get the latest one. Okay, and then uh, you can see all of the uh, options down the side. So we need to install Microsoft Teams. So you click here and this takes us to the Elgato uh, Marketplace. Okay, um, and then all you need to do is search in here for, for Microsoft, Microsoft Teams. Okay, and click here. Now I've already been through this, so it says open in Stream Deck. It says I already own this product. Um, but the first time you do it, it will look a bit like this and you just go add to cart, go to your cart. Um, you will need to log in uh, to check out. So you need a, uh, an account, but you can see it is completely free. Um, it's just the way that you need to do this. So then once you do that, you go open in Stream Deck and it will do this little pop up here. Okay, and it'll open in Stream Deck. We can get rid of this now, there we go. And you can see here the plugin's been installed and you can see all of the uh, actions here. They're exactly the same as actions we had before. So um, all I'm gonna do is just drag across camera, background blur, uh, the leave button. There we go, mute, uh, raise hand. And then let's take these reactions over here. So applause, laugh like, love, and wow. And you can see here, they've got this Teams icon with the padlock on, so it's not been authorized just yet. So the next thing you need to do is go um, to Microsoft Teams itself. And you can see this is the new Teams. And I'm gonna click on the ellipsis at the top here and go to settings. And then I'm gonna head over to privacy scroll down and click here where it says manage API. Okay, and the first thing I need to do is turn on the API. Okay, uh, now this will kind of enable um, uh, enable the stream. And you can see here, my icons have changed. It might take a couple of minutes for that to, to go through, but you can see that my icons have changed. It's still not authorized to go yet. So the easiest way to do this is to use these buttons in a meeting. So I'm just gonna click meet now and just do um, a meeting with myself. Okay, and just click join now. And then all I'm gonna do is click on, uh, oh, get rid of that. All I'm gonna do is click on one of the reaction buttons. So if I click like the heart button, then it says here there's a new connection request. Okay, so I'm gonna click allow for that. Okay, and then now I can do anything. So I can enable the mic, I can mute myself, so you can see it there going on and off. Um, I can raise my hand, I can turn the camera on, Um, or I can uh, oh, use the reaction button. So let me turn my camera back on, show you those. Okay, turn the camera off there. And then lastly, I can just hang up from the call 
when I am done. So it's all the stuff that you knew already, you had it before. Um, so you can see that if, um, you know, if you've been hanging out uh, from using this, or for using the new Teams because you wanted to get uh, the Stream Deck working, now is the time to make sure that you do this, make the switch, go over to the new version of Teams, you'll love it over here. It is great because now your Stream Deck works as well. So hopefully you found this video really useful. If you have, then comment, share it, tell other people who've got Stream Decks who are in your team, or if there's anybody in your organization who was using Stream Deck before and was complaining that they couldn't do it in the new teams, then tell them as well. Um, and let's get, uh, let's get our Stream Decks all on the new teams. Um, so I will see you again on another video.